this pattern, man, it's so much easier than I thought, thanks to Marcel. I don't know what I would have done without her video. I'm going to whip this up, and by the time Thursday comes around, it's time for me to post my video. I'm going to be able to show the other Fresh Off The Hook family what I've done. Man. I mean, I'm just surprised I've gotten this far, and I just can't wait to get to the end. Yep, yeah, by the time Thursday rolls around, I'm going to have it done. Hmm. What is today? It's already Thursday. Oh, my. You all have caught me with my project on the hook. You all have to excuse me, where has the time gone since my last video? Well, as you can see, I'm doing a granny square. I am working on a granny bottom purse, thanks to Marcel's video. Uh, I'm off to a great start, I am. I'm seven rows in, and I have eight more to go before I start. Uh, this week, I have headband. And I found this on a blog, and I want to say I use after double crochet. And this is how the end's going to be. I'm just going to tie it back. Yeah. My power on the side. I'm thinking it's going to be attached to it instead of um, detachable. Also, I have a cow. And this was, I didn't show it last video, but this was actually my first cow. I closed it with a single crochet. But yeah, I use like a medium yarn, and I use double crochet and single crochet throughout and I when I found out about the thicker yarn I decided that that's actually cooler and better and quicker than this was but this is still cool I've yet to wear it out though yeah I have not put the hook on them yet but I will and I was attempting another pattern but this is what came out and I even like this so this is pretty cool when I put these on, I mean, put the hook on, I'm going to be rocking them. That's all I have for you all. I still have uh, two things on the hook. I went out to a Walmart because I found that they had Red Heart for $2.33. And I think I kind of lost my mind up in there. I bought quite a bit. This is one of the colors I bought, and I'm using it today. It's called uh, Aran, A-R-A-N. And it is medium for... And I saw this um, dish cloth. It looks like granny pattern to me. A granny square um, pattern. And it had uh, Christmas colors in it. So I got some green. And I got this cherry red. I got all white. Because I'm going to use this with some royal blue. It's my sorority's colors. I have this yarn which is black, uh, white, and it looks like slightly gray. I got this. Which I love this color combination, turquoise. I'm loving some turquoise, but it's more like a teal, teal, dark brown, light brown, or medium brown. And then I want to get some cotton yarn because I want to do some dishcloths. It's white, and this is yellow and white cotton, and it's by Peaches and Cream. It was a dollar ninety-seven at Walmart. The rest of these were two dollars and thirty-two cents. I want to find some shimmer red heart, which I have not found it yet. I haven't been in the the, uh, the Joann's here in town. I'm going to check that out. Another Hobby Lobby I haven't been in lately to get yarn for a second. Uh, I was browsing, browsing videos and I stumbled upon a video from one virtuous woman, Marcel, and she was mentioned that they had yarn in Dollar Tree. I was thinking, oh, I've been in Dollar Tree recently and I haven't seen the yarn. And um, when I went in today, I went in on a mission on a purpose to look specifically for yarn and I ended up going to three. The first one I went to um, they did have yarn and they had basically the same kind. They had the um, the fun fur. The lion brand fun fur. And this is how it looks. And it was a dollar. And I've never bought any yarn like this but I'm thinking I'm going to make a scarf. Um, but this same amount same size is like three something at uh, Michael's. So to get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree, I got four of them. And I'm going to make some type of scarf out of it. 
I may mix it with like a, a medium weight yarn or something like that. But I got four of them. And that was four dollars. And uh, I went to a second Dollar Tree that is closer to my house, like walking distance. And I didn't see any any yarn in there. I was heading out to Michael's to use my 40% coupon tonight. And I um, remembered that it was a Dollar Tree by Michael's. So I stopped in there. This is a bigger Dollar Tree. And sure enough, they had some yarn. And they had a different kind than the first one I went to. So they had more variety and uh, more colors. I ended up getting like six skeins. I got this, which is a uh, Caron Dazzle Air. It's purple. It's um, called Thistle. And this is 80% acrylic, 20% nylon. It doesn't give me the lint. Hmm. But this is bulky. I get Caron Symphony, and this is a rose violet, and 100% um, polyester. I get another one, and they're small, they're a dollar each. This is called Ocean, and I get Wine Country, I get Country Rose, which these two are close in shade, but they're different. And I got Country Blue, Dark Country Blue. I love my blues. I love turquoise. This looks like turquoise, but they call it Ocean. So these were my six I got from the third Dollar Tree. And I can't think of any more that are in my area. If I have some more, I'm going to go and see what type of yarn they have. Um, that was six. Plus, it's ten dollars spent on a uh, yarn Dollar Tree, plus the yarn I got from Michaels tonight, which was uh, only uh, the Wool and Easy Extra Thick Lion brand. So I only got one skin of it, but I'm excited, so I had to come on camera and share that with you all. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who stopped by to leave a comment on my first video. I felt all the love. I uh, enjoyed reading your comments and coming to check out your channels as well and seeing what all you all were doing uh, as far as crochet projects. I also want to say thank you all for subscribing. I get messages on my phone, like when I get a new email. So my phone just kept on dinging like every few minutes on um, Friday especially. And I was like, all these are messages from uh, other YouTubers who also crochet and then subscribe subscriptions. So I really felt the love. I really appreciate it. Uh, I love the warm welcome. Thank you so much. Um, just looking forward to more videos to come. Uh, this, uh, hopefully you're having a lovely day. And I want you to have a lovely Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family time. Peace.